Good day, folks. I'm here to show you how to set up the wedge fire bit by sloppyin.com.au. So here it is, packed flat in its canvas storage bag, durable, and sturdy. We're going to open up the contents and we'll slide out the entire fire pit on the under tray, which is used for storage as well. Just put that bag aside. Now it comes with a pair of leather riggers gloves, a pair of multi tools, which I'll explain the uses for later on. Four spit adapter or rotisserie brackets. Four cross-sectional cookware support bars. Two longitudinal cookware support bars. The under angle is supporting the main components of the fire pit. One of. Two short ends for the main pipe pit. And two long sides of the pipe pit. I'll just move that tray aside for now. Now to assemble this pipe pit, there's no tools, bolts or fixings required. It completely just slots together as its name suggests. So simply take one short end one long side at right angles in the corresponding slots simply slot together take the next short end the corresponding slot at right angles next we have that angle support bar that I showed you earlier as I unpacked it that just simply slides down in the V groove Underneath, in position, just in line with the long side. We take the next long side, corresponding slots on each end. Simply slide together. There you have your base fire pit. Now I'm just going to swing that around. Now these are the moldy tools, as you can see. You've got two little tags welded on each end there, one at right angles and one on an angle at 45 degrees. The ones at right angles are the lifting points. In that hole at each end, insert in, and you can lift the pit, spin it round, of course not when it's burning, and move it aside. We'll just put it aside for a second. We'll go back to the under tray. Now the under tray is made from aluminium. It's got a raised edge, nice and smooth around the edges, no sharp edges. This is designed to sit under the fire and to be filled with water so it's not going to damage the grass or the deck that you may have it on. It's also got another purpose which I'll explain a little bit later. So we'll have the tray there. We're going to lift our fire pit into position, which we've just done like that. And there you have it, the fire pit's in position. Now, before you light the fire, you would fill this tray with water. Fill that up with water. Then you can crank up a great big fire to get some coals going ready to cook with. The reason you have this filled with water is for the ventilation shafts here, which is the branding, to help the fire breathe to get oxygen. It's also going to allow embers to drop through. When those embers drop through, they'll self-extinguish into that water. Right, now we have the two longitudinal support bars. They simply just slide in the two slots at each end, like such. And there you have support for some cookware down at a lower level for the fire, so you can cook like a, a damper on your camp oven. Boilability with the coals are really low. We've got the other four support cooking bars, which go across the top at right angles to those. They're obviously raised higher so that you can cook at a different level and you can put a hot plate, fry pans, billy, whatever you need to on those as supporting. Next we have the four pieces that support the spit rotisserie motor. Now there's two small pieces with a slot either end. 
doesn't matter which end, at right angles to the corresponding slot there on the short end, the same at the other end. Then we have the two larger pieces with a slot and a curved section cut out. The curves for the top for the rotisserie, the slot is for the fire pit connector. Simply slot to slot, slot to slot. Now there you have your basic fire pit, obviously you would take the support bars out if you're going to make a rotisserie set up for cooking. We're going to put the rotisserie on now to show you how that works. You take the motor, and this is an optional extra. The motor is run by two D-cell batteries. It simply slides on the connector there. You take the rotisserie shaft with the prongs. You'd have your meat on, of course, or whatever you're cooking there. Square drive end handle. Square drive end into the square drive on the motor. Just simply align it. Quite simple. Straight into the slot there. There you have your rotisserie. I'll just switch it on and away you go. Obviously when you've got your coal set up. So that's your basic fire pit with all your attachments set up. Now the rotisserie is an optional extra. So if I take that off, everything else I showed you. Two multi-tools. Gloves, a durable canvas storage bag, is what we sell as the ultimate combo kit. Thanks for viewing folks. Cheers. Awesome awesome.